So, hello everybody. I am Dr. Ankur Behel. I'm a senior director of medical oncology uh, in Portis Memorial Research Institute, Guru Gram, and Delhi NCR. So, month of February has been dedicated to biliary tract cancer. And to simplify biliary tract cancer, we have two to three types of biliary tract cancer. One, the most common of uh, type, which is called as gallbladder cancer. And uh, there could be an extra hepatic cholangiocarcinoma or the tumors of the bile duct, which are outside liver, are called as extra hepatic. And the bile duct tumor, which are inside the liver, are called as intrahepatic uh, gall. Uh, uh, intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma. So the situation in our country regarding gallbladder cancer and biliary tract cancer is totally different from the rest of the world. India has one of the highest incidence of uh, biliary tract cancer or specifically gallbladder cancer. And since India is a diverse country, we have seen in our practice that the incidence of uh, gallbladder cancer is very high in northern India and particularly around the endogangetic belt. So, so there have been many studies which has been done in our country which says that the incidence of gallbladder cancer is more or less along the Ganges River. So that is why we have a very high incidence as high as 12 to 14 uh, cases per 1 lakh population in particular areas and in Delhi NCR or in uh, northern India, it is as high as four to six, uh, one lakh population per year. But the trends of gallbladder cancer, although the gallbladder cancer is seen in both the sexes, but the predominantly is one of the uh, killer disease in female population. The incidence and the occurrence of this cancer is proportionately higher in female population. The main incidence of this cancer being higher is attributed to gallstone and the gallstone causing recurrent cholangitis and inflammation in that biliary tract area is the most common reason so it can be uh, it can be there in male but female have a higher incidence the people who have uh, gallbladder stone and recurrent cholangitis because of that gallstone they have a higher propensity but and unfortunately in our population majority of this gallbladder cancer who present to our OPD are having symptoms of pain, abdomen and jaundice. So once jaundice settles down in a gallbladder cancer or a intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma, so usually they are in a late stage. So although much advances have happened in biliary tract cancer, the most common way to get cure from this cancer is surgery so which happens in around 20 to 30 percent of our patient but majority of them present in late stages so gallbladder cancer should be picked up by a local physician particularly in northern india in patient who has history of gallstone so uh, it can be diagnosed with very simple uh, ct scan or an mri of the liver and uh, we should all be aware of this cancer particularly when we are having jaundice and this jaundice is non-viral or obstructive kind of jaundice. There should be an alert of biliary tract cancer. Much advancement has happened in biliary tract cancer in literature. So apart from normal surgery, use of chemotherapy and radiotherapy, in last couple of months, uh, there have been many advances in view of immunotherapy. So we've been using immunotherapy in gallbladder cancer. And uh, there are many literature in the form of Topaz trial and many other trial which have proven that if we add immunotherapy to this biliary tract cancer, their survival increases. But in this month of February, we all should look at obstructive jaundice. If jaundice is not resolving within five, six days, we should be keen in diagnosing it. It could be biliary tract cancer. And the treatment of choice of biliary tract cancer, whether it is cholangiocarcinoma or gallbladder cancer, is surgery. And then we should treat with some therapy, which could include chemotherapy and immunotherapy. So the mantra of this month is that you should be aware, all general practitioner, physicians and surgeons should be aware of this disease, particularly in northern India. Thank you so much.